I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just great to be with you again on the farm. I've got a short little message for you. If you have a look at these beautiful cabbages here, they belong to my son and the millies over there, and it's looking great. But you know, I want to ask you a question. Does God have any equals? Is anybody equal to God? I'm asking you the question. Well, let's go to Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 25, and let's see what the Word of God says. To whom then will you liken me? Or to whom shall I be equal, says the Holy One. Remember, this book is Jesus Christ in print. John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. There is no one, there is nothing that is equal to God. God is in a situation all of His own. He doesn't need any help from anyone. The reason why He created us was for fellowship. Not because he needed us, no, no, because he wanted us. Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 17. If you've got your Bibles with you, Acts chapter 17, I just love the word so much. This Bible of mine is getting worn out, Acts chapter 17. But it just seems to fall into the right places, you know. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Acts chapter 17, and I'm going to read from verse 24. And this is what the Word of God says. God, who made the world and everything in it, since He is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands. Verse 25. Nor is He worshipped with men's hands as though He needed anything. See, He needs nothing. Since He gives to all life, breath, and all things, and He has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on the face of the earth. All men have been made by God. All men, black men, white men, yellow men, big men, short men, all men and women and children have been made by one blood from the Lord and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation. Listen to this. So that they should seek the Lord and hope that they might grope for Him and find Him, though He is not far from each one of us. Verse 28. For in Him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said. For we are also his offspring. And then the last verse, verse 29. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. God is not created by man. You can go to some of the most beautiful churches in Europe, and you can see the most amazing paintings by Leonardo da Vinci, by Michelangelo, the most amazing structures. And they are, they're beautiful and I love them. You can go to Israel too and see beautiful churches that have been built to glorify God. But God is not created by any man. He is no equal. He has no equal on this earth. He is a living person. He is not made out of gold and stone and wood. And we need to remember that. And we need to revere Him. And we need to love Him. And we need to respect Him. And we need to honor Him. Don't take Him for granted, folks. He loves you so much, but He is God. Until next time, may the Lord bless you. Goodbye. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.